What's going on? What's going on? We're back again, right? Three tips to fit another Thursday morning. I hope everyone's having a great week, and I hope we can just keep on making it roll on into the weekend, right? All right, so we got three tips today. Very, very important, very, very key, very, very vital to helping you succeed, right? That's what we're here to help every single week. I got some goals. You got some goals. Let's just keep on reaching them together, all right? So today, we're going to talk about three different goals, all right? So the first one is eating more. The second one is keeping it simple. And the last one is just hold on a little bit longer. All right, so let's get into these right now, all right? Coming up first, right, eat more. What am I talking about? I'm not talking about eat more crap, not more junk, not more of this, not more of that. Eat good foods, right, all day long. Eat vegetables, eat fruits, eat your grains, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat. Let's make sure that we balance it the right way and we keep on eating all day. You're never going to lose the weight that you're looking to by starving yourself. It's just not going to happen. The science already shows that it's wrong. I could waste a whole couple minutes on this video talking about that, but I would rather not. Just go with my word, right? Lingham's always right. Remember that. Second about that is, right, you want to make sure that we're cutting back on our sugars like I always talk about. Eat more and eat less, or eat more, drink less of our calories that we take in, right? That's one of the biggest problems. We drink in about 25% of our calories, and we wonder why we can't shake that extra uh, belly fat. Now, also, it still goes to guys or girls that are looking to bulk, right? If we're looking to bulk, we still need to eat more. We need to eat more high quality, uh, we need to eat more high calorie type foods. So you wanna get in, you know, instead of getting in at 2,000 calories, eating five times a day, Let's look to get in like 3,000, 3,500, 4,000 calories, still eating it in five, you know, five meals, your, your three main meals and your two snacks. You want to still make sure you're doing that. You're just eating more, and more protein is the key to weight gain also. If you want to dabble into that, I know some people out there are trying to get a little bit bigger, add some more mass. Let's make sure if we're doing that, right, we're taking our protein intake. It's got to be 1.5 times your body weight or... I wouldn't go any higher than 1.8, right? I wouldn't go any higher than 1.8. So you just take your weight, multiply it by 1.5, and that's the amount of protein that you should be getting in every single day. All right, and 50% of your diet should also be coming from your carbohydrates. Now, it doesn't mean like pastas and stuff. Only 10% of your 50% of your carbohydrates should be actually grain-type carbohydrates or your, complicate, your uh, complex uh, carbohydrates. You want to eat more fruit, more vegetables, right? Let's get some of that stuff in. It's going to clean out your system real good, make your body work more efficiently. You're going to have more energy at work. Trust me, I have, this is the way I eat. I'm working on three hours of sleep today, and I got more energy than I don't know. I just had a whole heap of vegetables. I feel great. Might be the coffee too, but the coffee was black. No sugar, right? No sugar in my coffee, baby. Let's keep it real. I ain't going to be, I ain't going to be in here lying to y'all, telling you to cut your sugars and maybe drinking sugar. All right, so the next thing is we want to keep it simple. Some of y'all are going to these gyms and you're hopping on machines that you don't even know what you're doing. Like, right, Kevin Hart when he was on the bench and he's doing the curls and he's got he's on, he's on the leg extension machine trying to do curls out in front and the bodybuilder comes up to him and says, oh, man, you done with that? And he hops in and he sits on the seat after he watched him lift it the wrong way the whole time. That's, it goes on all the time. I was at Planet Fitness last weekend and I saw a bunch of people just walking around they had no idea what they were doing, had no plan of what they were doing in the gym. So here's, I'm going to help you. Work on your push-ups, right? A push-up is something that a person should have mastered. It is a key exercise when it comes to our upper body, all right, our chest strength, our, our front deltoids, right? Even our back is incorporated in the, in the push-up, strong core. All these are very, very important. Women, you can go on the knees, but work your way up to get into a full, regular, traditional push-up. It's going to make you stronger at the end of the day, and you're going to get better results. The second exercise that you really need to master is the squat, right? You can do a real simple bodyweight squat. Hold on to a bar, a TRX out in front of you. You can elevate it to a TRX uh, single leg squat uh, just to make it a little more challenging. That's simply modified by, I'll step back real quick for you. In that front, that, that, TR, uh, that uh, single leg squat, you're going to weight, weight, weight on the back heel, right? And we're going to come down, squat, take your foot out. Again, right? That's a little more of a, a higher level exercise. So people that are very, very uh, good at their body weight squats can go ahead and try the single leg squat. And it's going to activate more muscle fibers for you. 
It's going to give you dominant legs. It's going to take your back squat on the rack a lot higher, right? Your deadlift is going to go higher. So it's really, really work on isolating those single muscles on each side. And also a pull-up or a row, right? Those are two very, very key exercises for back strength, right? The pull-up women, you can uh, use a, a modifier by taking a resistance band, a thick, heavy-duty resistance band, throw it over the pull-up bar, kind of do a little slip knot type deal with it, throw it around your knee, and you'll be able to do pull-ups, and your knee will be in, and it will assist you to lift you up to make sure that you can get up there. So eventually you want to work your way down to a lighter type resistance band that's going to help you get a little bit stronger. All right, so the row also. Rows can be done in different positions, right? I have a kettlebell right here, and I'm going to show you a couple of different versions of what I mean. All right, so we got a bent over row. So a lot of times you'll have a bar, you you know, a barbell in your hand. But a good way to do it is to isolate one side, like I was saying. All right, so we get the bent over form. Our back is nice and flat. Our butt's in the air, and we're just gonna. I'm just gonna take this kettlebell. I'm just pulling up. Do a couple on that side. Switch sides. Boom. Good back exercise. Pulling that weight up. Right. That's one version of the row. We can come with two hands out in front of us. And we're going to work our shoulder chain a lot more, right? Our traps, our deltoid, our scaps in the back, right? Good exercise for that. We can do seated row on a, on a machine. You can do uh, standing rows on a machine and have to hold a squat position and pull that row in. It's going to really work your core. So very simple exercises, right? Push-ups, squats, rows, pull-ups. These are very simple exercises that you can do that are actually going to make your body look 10 times better than getting on a bunch of machines and trying to figure out how to use them and doing them wrong, chances are. Okay, last and final tip of today, right? This one's the most important. Last, last workout of the day when I come in, right? They got to do sprints. They got to do something that's going to kill them. It's going to really make them want to throw up. It's going to make them want to get sick. So the last workout of the day is always the toughest. I need you to hold on a little bit longer, right? When you're on that plank, when you're holding, you're at 20 seconds. You know you need 30, right? I want you to get to the 30 seconds, then I want you to push on past that 30 seconds, right? Because if you ever look at Usain Bolt, when he runs, yeah, sometimes he might show a boat, right? He might show a boat and pull up at the line. But I'm talking about when Usain Bolt's running against somebody that's got tremendous speed, somebody that's out there to challenge him for his goal, for his record, right? You are going to see Usain Bolt fly through that finish line. He's not stopping. He's not slowing up near it. He's going through the line, and he's not slowing up for about 20 yards past that line. All right, a true winner doesn't stop at the line or stop slightly past the line. A true winner continues to push on after the job is done, right? Last night, why am I on three hours of sleep? Last night I had to manufacture some shirts and stuff and get some orders and fill it in for a couple different people, right? I came home from work, worked all day, I was tired, I was, man, I want to go to bed. It's 11 o'clock, I don't feel like doing this. And I started thinking about that money. Mm. I need that money, so I'm on the computer designing. Boom, boom, got something up. All right, I look at the, I look at my, at my, at my time. It's one o'clock, right? One o'clock came by so fast. I'm like, man, I gotta get up. I got a session at 8:30 in the morning. Now I gotta get to. So I'm sitting there like, man, I can get those shirts to those guys later on, right? I get that shirt to him. I can get her shirt to her later on. I just, you know, take a sleep, or maybe I'll get up in the mornings, right? So I started thinking about putting it off, putting it off, and then I realized, man. Yo, you got a chance to have $70, $75 in your pocket tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and you need that money, right? So sometimes you got to hold on a little bit longer. I was tired. I was dog tired. I wanted to go to bed. I wanted to quit. But I said, that $75 in my pocket tomorrow is going to feel way better than me saying, damn, I really wish I would have did that and got that money. But no, because I'm out here putting in that work. I'm in here getting that money because that's important for me to grow my business. So I need you to get in there. I need you to put in that work. And I need you to go that extra limit, right? Push yourself to see how great you can be. And if you don't think that you can be great, then why are you even doing this? That's what you have to ask yourself. Because it's not about, oh, I want to go to the gym just so I can say that I'm getting stuff done. Or I want to eat right just so I can say that I eat right. No. It's so that you can live longer, right? It's so that you're walking in six, when you're 60 years old, you don't need a cane. It's so that you can throw a ball with your dog that you like to take out to the park. It's so you can walk with your kid 
when you want to go out, so that you can teach your kid how to play a sport that you used to play when you were younger. It's about raising your kids and have your kids see you happy and healthy for the rest of your life and not pushing your medical bills on them, preventing them from excelling to being the greatest people that they can be. Because at the end of the day, that's what our job is, to help the next level succeed. So push a little bit more, and you're going to find out how great you can be and how great you will be. All right, you're going to find out a little bit more about yourself. So like I said, right, going through those tips one more time, right, eat more, right, let's get that metabolism going, let's break down these foods, let's get our body used to working, let's get the body used to working, baby, come on, the body is a machine, and it's made to work for you, let it work for you, put the right stuff in it, let it eat, let it break it down, let it turn into energy, and use that energy here in the gym, and really give it help, right, so that second one we had, right, it was keeping it simple. Stop getting complicated. Stop thinking it's all, all hard, right? Here's a very, very simple, easy exercise that we do almost every single day that I guarantee you if you do it for a month straight that you do this three sets of 20 swings, right? Three sets of 20 swings every other day for the next three months. I guarantee you that you will lose seven pounds if you do at a weight that you need to do and you stay committed and you stay dedicated and you finish strong you finish through the line, you don't stop early, you hold on a little bit longer, right? Just for you to see it, boom, kettlebell swing. Very, very easy exercise with a lot of modifications that can make it a lot harder, but you need to start somewhere. Start with the swing, keep it simple, do your push-ups, do your squats, do your pull-ups, do your rows, right? Let's get the body where it needs to be, right? Strong, looking sexy, looking fine. You know you want to wear that dress, you know you want to wear that suit, you know you want to wear that t-shirt that makes you look great, that has everybody looking at you when you walk in a room. That's what you're preventing yourself from right now. That when you walk in a room, people look by you, right? I want you to be able to walk in a room and everybody knows who you are. When you walk in a room, everybody goes, damn, what's that person doing? Oh, I need to do whatever they're doing. I need to go where they're going. I need to get some advice from this person because this person is rocking it right now. You don't get it. This is what people think when they see people, right? We size people up right away. And they're like, damn, that girl is fine. Like, girls be the first one to say that girl is fine, right? The guys are like, oh, man, that dude thinks he's big. Because we're hating inside because we're not that big. So do something and stop getting mad that you're not that person, right? That person's putting in the work. And you're just sitting there being lazy, making excuses, and feeling bad for yourself. That's not what kind of game we got going on here. Right? And our last tip, hold on a little longer, please. Right? Just hold on a little longer. It's not going to kill you to hold on a little bit longer. Right? I always tell people, you're going to be tired. you got all day to be tired. Just finish the workout. Just keep on going. Right? Because in life, right, the light, world don't stop. When things get tough, the world don't stop. Only the people that can persevere and keep on going and hold on stronger are going to prevail. So if you want to prevail, hold on stronger and do what you got to do. Take care of yourself because if you can take care of yourself, then you can take care of the rest of your family, the rest of your friends because you've got your stuff in order, right? And you're going to spread that magic. Everybody else is going to get straight because you're leading by example and you're showing them the way it's supposed to be. So once again, man, I love it. I got to go. Got some training to do. But Chris Lingham... I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist by the uh, NSCA. So if you're ever wondering if what kind of information I'm giving you is accurate, that's who I'm by, you know, that's who I'm I'm certified by. So I just go off the information that I get from them and I'm pushing it out to you guys, man. I just want everybody in the world to get a little bit better each day. Right? So come on, go visit my website right after you're done watching this. www.performimpact.com. Sign up for a fitness class, right? Fitness class, we come in here, do a lot of cardio work, get some strength training in that kind of gets you a little elevated so you can get up to the next level, which is the small group training and ultimately private training to excel and reach the goals that you're stopping yourself from going, right? Nobody else is stopping you from getting to those goals. Your money situation, right? You can you can go spend 100 or whatever it is on your hair and your nails and your pedicure, but you're still not fixing the problem. You can't hide the fact that you got this right here, right? It don't matter what kind of makeup you put on, it ain't taking that away, right? Guys, right? It don't, don't matter how many, you know, how many beers you can drink when you got these right here. That ain't attractive to women. It ain't cool. It don't matter what kind of car you drive or how much money you got in your pocket, man. I'm telling you, these things matter. When you shake a guy's hand, for a boss trying to get a job, you need a firm, strong handshake. You're not going to have that by having some weak, little, frail body with no confidence, right? Build up your body. Build up your confidence. Keep it up. See me on Facebook. 
www.facebook.com slash impact856. Once again, that website is performimpact.com. And you can come down to the sports club in Mount Laurel. Come train with me here in person. Impact Performance Training, man. We're getting it in every single week. I got girls, I got guys, they're all dropping inches. They're all losing weight. And they're all getting stronger. All right, and I also want to give a shout out to one of my clients, William Brandt. Right, this kid's coming here. He's starting all kinds of fire, baby. He's got a sign. We're going to be doing a mud runner, uh, tough mudder here in a couple months, and then he's got me ready to do a Spartan race there. And then at the end of the month, so we got some goals, man. And with good luck to him on Saturday. He's going to try out for the Philadelphia Soul, right? Just because he's been training, he got that confidence back, baby. You know, he 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 understands the real the realization that hey, he he hasn't been playing football in a long time. And he's going to be going up against some guys. But he understands one thing, hold on a little stronger, right? He knows how to hold on a little stronger. He's going to do great. I wish him the best of luck, and I wish you the best of luck, and I hope a great weekend for the rest of the week, all right? So get in touch with me, Facebook message me anytime you'd like. I'll answer any questions for you. Give me a call. Take it easy, y'all. It was great.